Welcome back to another week in my life as a third year med student. I'm Lydia and I'm a 25 year old graduate studying medicine in Southampton and this week it's the first week back after Christmas and it also happens to be the week before we start our first proper clinical placements. For the first half of this academic year I've been completing a compulsory research project to gain the BMed Sci qualification and today it is finally the last day and I need to hand in the written project. Since it's literally three months of hard work and blood, sweat and tears, I decided to head to campus before handing it in just to give it one or two last read throughs. My parents are retired journalists, so in my family, spelling and grammar errors are quite literally a crime. The med school also asks everyone to do a 10 minute presentation of our projects as part of the assessment. So I had to put together this PowerPoint, um, just 10 to 12 slides, I think was the kind of ballpark um to submit alongside the project ready for the presentation on thursday i also bumped into habiba who was working hard revising for her second year formative exams then i had to hop on the bus to the hospital because i was timetabled to do some basic life support training Finally, after putting it off literally all day, I popped into the hospital library to finally submit the project in time for the 4 p.m. deadline. Not before reading it one last time. So that is it, my project is done. I've handed it in. I handed it in about two hours before the official deadline at four. I'm just one of those people that has to read things again and again and again. I'm just really paranoid that I've missed something. And to be honest, on my like final read there was a comma in a place where it didn't need to be so it was worth it i'm just so relieved that it's done that is three months of my life basically obviously it's not completely completely done because on thursday we've got the conference where everyone presents their research and my slot is thursday afternoon at one o'clock so there's still a tiny little bit left to do but the main part of the project is over and we get marked on the, both the project and the presentation. So both important, but the project I believe is a bigger percentage of the overall mark. The rest of this week is an introduction to placement week. So obviously earlier I had the basic life support training. We did have that last year as well. So it was kind of more of a refresher, um, just CPR, also like CPR on children and babies. So that was today. Then tomorrow we've got a medical ethics day up at the hospital. Wednesday and Thursday is the project conference and we have to attend both days and go to different people's presentations and watch them. Friday is an introduction to clinical placements day and that's going to be quite a long one I think. It is my final week before placement starts so I am just trying to enjoy it but also mentally prepare myself for a change of pace perhaps because the last few months have been quite chilled out compared to the rest of the course. I have already said what placements I'm going on, but if you haven't heard, my first placement is GP and I start that on Monday. Now it's nearly four o'clock. I think I'm going to write or start writing the script for what I'm gonna say in my presentation, just cause I wanna bullet point what I'm gonna say for each slide. And then I'm gonna call it a day because this week is quite hectic. So I'm gonna chill out this evening and I think Jack and I might go into town because it's my dad's birthday on Wednesday and I need to get him a present. Here I am writing the script for my presentation and then here I am again later that evening watching the White Lotus in bed. Okay. I forgot I was vlogging today. So after I finished edits, edit, edits? After I finished editing what I'm gonna say in the presentation, did I finish it? Oh no, I didn't finish it. So I spent a bit of time figuring out what I'm going to say in the presentation. Not completely done yet. I need to go back to that at some point this week. Yes, I have. Don't listen to him. Then after that, we went to get Jack's car, which had its MOT today. Did it pass? After they've replaced the tyre. They had to replace the tyre. But other than that, it did fine. So we got Jack's car back. Then we popped into town, went to MS. Um, I got my dad a birthday present. I always get him the same thing, a shirt from MS. 
because he's always really happy with the shirt from m and I get him. And then I got him this birthday card. It says, Dad, you're top of the league and my dad is a big Burnley fan. Burnley are currently top of the championship, so hopefully they can hold on till Dad's birthday, which is in two days. And then we had pizza for dinner, watched some greys. And now I'm in bed watching The White Lotus and Jack has come to annoy me because it's half time in the football. Tuesday was a rainy one, so I struggled to stay dry on the journey to the hospital for a full day of lectures on medical ethics. We had talks on capacity, medical ethics and faith, and a lecture on honesty and truth telling, which was the most interesting one because we were asked questions like, if a coworker comes in with a terrible new haircut and they ask you if you like it, should you tell them the truth? Among other much more serious scenarios. And then I went to meet Jack at the gym. Going to the gym with Jack is fun, although I usually end up doing more arm stuff when I much prefer leg days, but at least I had some good company. I am hosting the quiz, yes? What's up, YouTube? Yes, I'll, I'm gonna host, but I'm gonna try and sit near you guys. So I can... Although we do get 50% off staff discount in January. Do you? Yes. Yeah, so Hi guys. Sorry I've not really been very chatty today. I overslept this morning and it was a mad rush to get to the bus and then get to the full day of lectures. So I just didn't really have time to stop and speak to you. But I had a good day at uni doing the medical ethics lectures. I quite enjoy medical ethics I find it quite interesting to like talk about situations and like case studies and stuff so it was quite a good day then went to the gym with Jack of course and then I've just come home and had something to eat because I was in such a rush this morning I didn't even get a chance to like pack a lunch or anything so I was absolutely starving by the end of today um, I'm actually working this evening at the pub but I don't start till 7 but before I do that I really need to do some admin for my GP placement they've sent me loads of forms I need to fill out before I start on Monday and then I need to upload a YouTube video this evening as well Which is the wipeout round. So for this round, you get a point for every correct answer, but if you get one wrong, you score zero. You don't have to answer every question because a blank is not a wrong answer. Question number one. Back, clones, hope and sif are all the last words in the titles of films in which series? Question number two. That was which annual film award recognised the worst films of the previous year? So Thursday aka presentation day came around very quickly, luckily I wasn't presenting until after lunch so I was able to get some practice in that morning. This was the first time I timed myself and I was well over the 10 minutes but I guess it's a bit easier to ramble when you're alone in your room so I allowed myself a few extra minutes. Then I made myself look presentable and more like a grown up who does research and knows what they're talking about rather than a 25 year old desperately clinging on to student life and trying to fit in with her younger Gen Z peers. I had one more practice for luck, this time standing up and trying not to use my prompts too much before making my way to the med school to do the real thing. There were five other presenters in my group and I was scheduled to go last which meant I had to sit through over an hour of presentations while trying not to have a panic attack as the nerves slowly built up. 
Some of you might know that I trained as a science teacher before I studied medicine, so I'm not really a stranger to public speaking, and there was only about 20, maybe 25 people watching me, mostly other students, but even though it wasn't a big crowd, there's something really scary about presenting to academics and doctors. When my turn finally came, I took a deep breath and went for it. Hello everyone, my name is India, and my topic was palliative care, and the title of my research project was intensive care perceptions and understanding of palliative care in a tertiary teaching hospital and for this project I carried out a service evaluation. So just a little bit of background, I think it's important to just clarify what palliative care actually is. I won't bore you with my entire 10 minute speech but overall I was really happy with how it went. I didn't look at my prompts in the end because I just got into a rhythm and I didn't want to look down and lose my train of thought. I stuck within the 10 minutes and I think the hardest part was answering the questions at the end. Um, I just tried my best to answer confidently and give them a go even if I wasn't totally sure of the answer um, and I think I convinced them that I knew something so that's good. Thank you very much to my supervisor Dr Mark Bandini for all his support and to the hardworking IT staff for completing my service. Thumbs up, guys. Done. <laughs> Project done. Yeah. Say hi, Jack. Hi, Jack. Guys, they have eggs. They haven't had eggs for weeks. I need 20 quid. <laughs> Hello. I'm just going to mute the telly, actually. Hello. I am home from the presentation and the conference. I'm very glad that's over. I feel like I can breathe a sigh of relief. So we've been to the shop, we've got a few bits for dinner and I think when Ellie gets home from work we're probably gonna watch a film and have a chill one. Now I am going to clean the kitchen because it's a little bit messy. Um, so I'm gonna sort the kitchen out. Just feel like now I've finished with projects I can fully refresh my life. Also guys, it's so embarrassing. It's the 11th, no, it's the 12th of January and we still have our Christmas tree up. That's definitely some kind of bad luck. I was so tired after the adrenaline rush of presenting and so I spent most of Thursday evening sat on the sofa. Jack, Ellie and I decided to watch this new movie called The Menu, which is streaming on Disney at the moment. Um, without spoiling it, it was not what I was expecting at all. It kind of reminded me of Midsummer a little bit with the tone, even though the plot was completely different. I think I enjoyed it, I think, um, so I would recommend it. But if you don't have a strong stomach, then maybe avoid this one. <laughs> And finally, we made it to Friday, but we weren't in for an easy day because the med school had lined up six hours of back-to-back -back placement induction lectures. Woo! We have three placements in third year, all seven weeks long, and they are GP, surgery and orthopedics, and medicine and elderly care. Um, so we had to go through each one, even though we're all starting on different placements. So for me, the most relevant stuff was anything to do with primary medical care for my GP placement. Oh, what are you looking at? I really struck. We also had lectures on professionalism, presenting patients, and there was a Q&A with the fourth years where the lecturers actually left the room so we could ask them anything we wanted without judgment. Whoa. Ow! What was that? Are you having fun? No. Too many lectures. Francesca! I'm oh, so rough. sorry. It's already Francesca. Maybe you're Who's excited to start the placement? No one. <laughs> no one. <answer. laughs> we love it. We can't wait. Nine to five every day. That is why. Oh, oh, I felt it. Hello. <laughs> Yeah, 
was a quick lunch. Yeah, we only had half an hour. They cut our lunch an hour in half. At least we have each other. Another big part of the day was learning about the third year assessments and how they're going to work. There was a lot of information, but essentially it's two OSCEs, those are the clinical skills exams, and then two multiple choice papers over two weeks at the beginning of July. They ended up using half of our lunch hour and overrunning by about 30 minutes. And I don't think we even covered everything that was scheduled. So by three o'clock, it was starting to feel like they were keeping us hostage. But finally at around half three, we were free for the weekend. I had a lovely Friday afternoon lie down and did some raving to the White Lotus theme tune before getting doled up to go out and celebrate Sophie's birthday. Quick, quick, quick! Quick! Happy birthday! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, dear Sophie! Happy birthday, dear Sophie! Happy birthday, dear Sophie. Happy birthday, dear Sophie. Happy birthday to you! Woo! Saturday night, I travelled home to see my dad for his birthday meal and my mum had a wonderful birthday surprise for him. Is it a winning lottery ticket? No, we have open it all. Uh, not losing lottery <laughs> so Open it all. I'm going to be shocked here, aren't I? Is it my life story? <laughs> is it your life story? Oh, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> What is one thing you've learned in 69 years of life? In 69, one thing? Yeah. Try to avoid women at all costs. It's misogynist, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> is that going to come out really bad? Yeah, probably. Yeah, Maybe, should we try that again? Take two. Take two. Take two. Take two. What is one piece of advice you could provide to the viewers after 69 years of life? Find yourself a wonderful woman to be your partner. That's <laughs> <laughs> That's a great idea. I should do that. <laughs>